Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you all are doing great. Today we are going to be talking about GPU Hub and how it can help you better manage your farm. Now oftentimes you are used to managing your rigs from the main interface here, but other times it's pretty helpful to get an idea of what's going on with individual cards and depending on what the maintenance is that you're trying to accomplish, you just need a little bit more fidelity. So what I want you to take a look at here on the interface is right beside workers you will see cards. So this is just going to give us a different way to look at the farm. Now once I click on cards I am in the GPU hub and you will see immediately I am presented with all GPUs that I have in my farm with no filtering whatsoever going on. Now you may want to come in here to do some monitoring and just keep an eye on what's going on. I kind of like it because it's a different way than looking holistically at the rigs. Now you can look at the cards specifically and just get a sense of what's going on. Now you may also have a very specific task and you need to do those tasks on very specific cards and GPU Hub is a great way to accomplish that. So let's say for example I needed to do vBIOS updates on my AMD 580 cards. You can see by default we have all cards showing. Now what I'm going to do is just come over here and look for the features that I need to create this filter. So GPU, I'm going to come down here and select my 580 models and notice that only the 580s are showing. So that was a very simple filter here to help us out with our task. Now in doing this I can select all everything that I just filtered by and I get a few more options up here. So you can see I've got the select vBIOS option now available. Now I can select the vBIOS that I want to have flash to any number of cards that are in my farm and I just select whether I want to reboot after flash, force flashing, security and checking and once I get that selected I implement that. Now I'm not going to do that because my cards are already flashed so I'm going to cancel this now once you have some filters in place, you may need to go back and do some different work. And removing filters is pretty simple to do. I can just hit this X right here and that filter is removed. Now also in here we do have the vBIOS ROM storage. If I click on that you'll see all of the vBIOSes that we do have saved. You can add vBIOSes, you can download them and modify them as they are needed for your farm. Now let's say I want to take a look at GPUs with a certain memory size. I can do that here. So when I hit the 6, I get all of my 6 gigabyte 16 series cards showing and no others. Or maybe I want to filter by issues and there's some great features here. You can take a look specifically at cards that are missing hash rate, invalid shares, or if you're just missing a card altogether. And if you're bringing up a number of rigs, there's a feature over here, in case you missed anything with overclocks, you can filter all of your rigs without any overclocks applied and get them fixed up and finished off. All right, those are the basics of GPU Hub. I hope this helped out a little bit. If you've got any questions, put it in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.